Today is not the day to come to Port Aransas. And I've seen a lot of disasters in the world, and this is very bad. When the storm came, it was supposed to be a tropical storm. And overnight, that, that all changed rapidly. And all of a sudden, they said it was a, a, a three, or potentially a four. And I was like, how did that happen? Now a category four hurricane. Gosh, making landfall. Uh, it's really upsetting to see that. We've never had such winds. I, I even wrote my name on my arm. I, I was just, I, I knew I might never see in daylight. We barricaded my kids in our bathroom because that was the safest part of the house. We didn't know how bad the surge was going to be. That's what everybody was so worried about, the surge, the water coming in. Six to 12 foot storm surge, it could be higher than that with a category four hurricane. We did not have any kind of communication with the outside world. That really woke up a lot of people. Not being able to recognize anything, I mean, it's, it's, it's indescribable. This is the worst thing I've ever been through in my entire life. And I, I just didn't know where I was. And that was, that's when it really hit me that this is not the same place that I left. Coming back home and seeing, starting to see the destruction on our way in, we just, we just totally went into work mode. Everybody's got damage at some point. The devastation in the trees was just unbelievable. It may be what saved us, what saved the house. Was the tree breaking the wind? I don't know. Everything was gone, like everything was flooded and all the trees and everybody's roofs that were missing. It was, it was just crazy. Our RV was originally over on spot 94. During the storm, it ended up, I, I'm assuming, a block and a half away. It just tore apart. She didn't stand a chance. I actually have water in here still. There's water coming from the wall. That's been the hardest thing is to see people that I've known for 20 years lose everything and still come in and say, what can I do for you? That's hard. Oh dear. <laughs> Half full, maybe. <laughs> We're just distributing food, water, and ice to anyone that's still here in the, uh, the, the, the disaster area. Uh, yesterday, we did about 915 families. I, mean, I get a call like at 311 and it says, hey, can you mobilize some volunteers to come out here and help with the effort? You guys feeling good, feeling motivated, ready to uh, pass out some more goods? Yes, sir. Trying to get as much gas out to Port A today as we can. Victoria, you and Samantha have a system going. Wow, that's Absolutely. awesome. That one's a little full. Oh, that one's a little full. Ma'am, how are you today? A little stressed, but I'll be okay. We got you. You need anything else? That's no, it. Come back if you do. We got to. We got to get after this line over here. We got to have a nice clean plates. Nice clean plates. The first load that we gave away, we did two days in Rockport and one day here, and that gas came from California. Thank God for all of your help out here. Thank you, everybody. We need it. We need it. But we're a hardy lot. We'll just, we'll rebuild, regroup, rebuild, and people will live here again. We're Texans, and, and that's, that's the whole deal. You know, we, we stand up, we stand strong, and that's what we've seen from the people of Rockport. I, I, I can't even begin. I can't even begin to express these people that are coming into my home and saying, we got this, go take care of your people. There's no words. I can never repay that debt. Never repay that debt.